Before we get started, I want to show you three different wall hooks that you can use when you're doing your macrame projects. You can get something simple like these first two options. You can get them at a hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. And I use these two wall hooks that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And I always leave a wooden dowel rod just sitting on top of it. And it's perfect for many of my projects. Tape an S hook onto your dowel. Then begin with a six inch hoop and 16 pieces of cord cut 190 inches. Put the two pieces at the bottom together and find the center point. Once you've found the center, you're going to attach all 16 pieces with the lark's head knot. I like to grab an extra piece of cord and attach one to each side of the hoop because I don't like the hoop to move around when I'm working. It taps onto the wall and it gets a little distracting. So if you have a setup like this, I recommend you just attach each side just like I have and then begin your work. Okay, now just go ahead and attach all of the rest on just like this. Once they're all attached, we're ready to get started. Beginning on the left side, grab four of the cords. We are going to be making square knots. We're going to make two square knots going across the first row. To begin, grab the cord on the right, cross it over the center two, grab the cord on the left, and place it behind the three and pull it through. Okay, once you've tightened it, you're gonna grab the cord on the left, cross it over the two center, grab the cord on the right, place it behind the three, and pull that side through. You've completed your first square knot. Now we're making one more. Grab the cord on the right, cross it over the two in the center, take the one on the left, put it behind all three, and pull through. Tighten. And then one more time. Left over the center, right goes behind, pull through and tighten. Grab the next set of cords. So if you happen to forget which side is next, just look at this loop right here. 
That little loop right there is going to tell you that you're on that side. So if it's on the right, that means you need to take the cord to the right and bring it over the, the two center. Now that it's on the left, you're gonna take the cord on the left and bring it over the two center. That's just a little tip, just because when you're doing multiple knots after a while, you may forget which side you're on. Something else that's helpful is counting. So each time you go around, count. So you have one. Now you're starting two. Three. And four. So if I need to do two square knots, I need to do this four times. Okay, we have completed our first row. So our first row should have two square knots going across the top. It's time to begin the second row. Grab the two cords on the end and leave them out. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So for this row, we're going to be making five spiral knots. To do a spiral knot, you are just going to be making a, a half square knot going in the same direction each time. So I like to use the right side. So taking the right, going over the two, pulling the left one through, and repeat. So again, you're gonna take the right, go over the two middle, take the left, and go behind all three. And do this until you've counted to five. So you'll notice that it starts to already create the spiral around knot number four. So I finish that one and then I turn it to do knot number five. Okay, you've completed your first spiral. So now we're gonna repeat this whole process for row two. If you don't know how many you've made, you can turn it and just count one, two, three, four, five and then just twist it back. Okay, grab the next set of cords. Take the right, go over the center two, take the left and go behind all three and pull through. Just continue to do this until you've made five.
pattern for this particular hat hanger is going to have the spiral row on the top and the bottom and it's really just for an added design you do not have to do the spiral if you don't wish to if you want you can just make another three or four square knots on this row and skip the spirals the choice is yours but you will have enough cord to do either or So this video was made specifically for a kit that I am selling on my Etsy account. You can find the link in the description box below. The kit will include everything you need to create the stylish and functional macrame hat hanger for all of your baseball hats. You're going to have these easy to follow instructions with this video that you can pause if you have any questions. You can always message me on Etsy or my Instagram. And instead of it coming with this rope that I'm using, I got this rope on Amazon. It will be including some high quality single strand cord that I get from Ganchet and you will be very happy with the quality of it. It's extremely soft and if you would like to purchase anything from them I have a discount that is automatically applied at checkout. Just use the link in the description box below. Okay we've reached the end of this row. You're gonna take the two here on the right and put them to the side because they are not included and make your last set of spiral knots. Okay, for row three, we are going to need all of the cord again. So grab those two pieces you put to the side and we are going to make two square knots, just like the first row going across this entire row. Okay, now that you're done, you're gonna see this loop. We're not going to be putting a strap on the top one, but that's what you want are those loops on the side. That's where we're gonna be attaching the straps.
continue going. We just want to do the same thing all the way across. now be on row four. Go ahead and put those two in the end off to the side again and for row four we are going to be making three square knots. So when I was saying before to count one, two, three, four, this time you're going to do it till six. So you got one, two, three, five, and six. Continue all the way across this row. So row four will have three square knots.
When you get to the end, put the two right cords off to the side and just use these four cords that are left. Once you get to this row, we're back to doing two square knots all the way across. should be on row 5 right now.
Okay, let's look at everything we've done so far. So this is the top row. This is just the design part. The actual pattern for the rest of this is going to be two, three, two. Hit pause so you can read the rest of the pattern. This is what it should look like. So you have your top design and then you have your nine rows with two square knots and your eight rows with three square knots. It should end with two square knots. And let's begin the bottom. For the bottom, we should be at row 20. We are going to repeat what we did on row two and make five spiral knots. currently on row 21 and we are going to repeat the pattern from the top and do another two square knots all the way across.
coming to an end with this pattern. So now we're gonna do a single square knot all the way across to create a V shape. So to do that, we're gonna start with this row with one square knot all the way across and then throughout each new row, we're gonna leave off two from each end. Now that this row is completed, you should have four at each end. So each row we should have two additional ones. So now you're just making a square knot going all the way across again. So now you should have six left off on each end and it will just continue. Just make sure there's two extra ones left out each time.
are done. After this, we just have to make the straps. This is what the strap will look like. So if you purchase my kit, you will have them already pre-cut. If you don't have the kit, you are going to be cutting four cords, cut 55 inches, and that is going to be the piece that is hanging right now on the S-hook. Then we are going to take this piece, cut 130 inches. We're gonna need another four, cut 130 inches, and we are going to attach it using a square knot. Once you find the center, it's time to attach. Place the left side over the two in the center and pull the right through and tighten it. Now we're gonna take the right side, place it over the center cords and pull the left through. We're doing the exact same thing that we were doing throughout this whole entire pattern in creating the square knots. Repeat this until you have made 30 square knots or until your straps are approximately 12 inches. Flip it so that it's backwards. Get your first strap. And we are going to start with the second loop. So just Pull it through and then carefully place it on the other side and pull through. Take your two longer pieces, put it through the loop and we're going to make just a basic knot. I'm showing it to you first this way so that it's a little looser because I want you to see that they are adjustable and this is how you're going to be able to hang several hats instead of just one hat per strap. So attach one and turn it around. You can see here that we can easily add two hats into this strap. Now I'm adding three hats and watch how easy they go in. Now I'm going to untie the strap and I'm going to make it a little tighter so you can see how it will look when it holds one hat. Now let's add one hat. Okay, now that you've seen how you can adjust the straps, it's time to put on the rest. After the first one, skip one loop and then add it to the one right below that. So if you're counting from the very first loop at the top, it's gonna be the fourth one down. We're just gonna be skipping a row in between each strap.
This is how it will look with one hat in each strap. Don't worry about the bottom when you see those cords in the back. We're going to trim them. Remove all the hats and then turn it back around. We're gonna untie the bottom two. I'm gonna show you how to crisscross them. So take the top end and put it through the bottom loop. Then you're going to take that bottom one and put it through the loop where the top one was. So it should create an X in the front. Once you've done that, just cross them over and tie them just like you did before. Turn it back around and you now have a crisscross front. We just have to adjust them a little bit. So grab your hats and put them back and it's going to make it a lot easier when you need to adjust them. So you can see how one of them is a little loose. All you need to do is just turn it back around and tighten it up a little bit. that's left is trimming up the bottom. Turn it back around and just give these a little trim just so that you don't see them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have found this tutorial to be very helpful. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe.